What is going on everybody, it's your boy Slap Train. Today I'm bringing you guys the subscriber challenge that I issued um, a few days ago, or maybe about a week ago now. It was the challenge for anybody who wanted to run the mountain in cockpit mode and um, to see who had the most score at the end of the hill. So um, right now we have my boy Edmar doing this. Now if you guys don't know him, he's a very well known Forza 4 drifter and he's drifting in his Toyota Super at the moment. So. Um, this challenge right now, I'm going to pretty much be doing this still, but there's still going to be re some requirements. So, instead of having you guys send me the replays over Forza, it's very, very time consuming for me to go and look at the replays on, on your storefront, or if you guys send me the replays, it's very time consuming because I have to, A, one, I have to download the replay, or sorry, not download, I have to sit there and record the replay for one, which is about a solid 12 minute run. I then have to render it and then I have to also commentate over it as well too. So it's about a good 30 minutes um, to do that and I mean I'm very busy so it's very hard for me to get everything that I need um, for these challenges. So if you guys want to send me a challenge from here on out, um, one of two ways. So you can either A, upload your video to the Forza Motorsport website, you can make a video and um, then you can send it to me. And you can send it over, uh, say like Mediafire, or you can send it as uh, Dropbox. If you guys want to do Dropbox, I'll leave my email in the bottom for Dropbox, and I will share a folder with you guys so that way you guys can um, send me a replay in that folder. That's number one. If you guys do send me a replay in the folder, I need you guys to put down your gamer tag in the video description, and um, also to um if you guys have a youtube channel post a youtube channel in there as well too so um dropbox media fire or just send me the link on youtube upload your video to youtube and um i will copy the link and i will save it and i will then download it and post it so it's just it makes everything a lot easier for me um just because i am very busy at the moment and it would just make my life a whole lot easier than having to go through all these replays sort them out and then I gotta download them and you know it's it just it gets very tiring and um, just going forward I like to get the replays already submitted so thank you very much for everybody who has and I'm very sorry for everybody who um, has sent me replay but I just cannot record I just don't have the time anymore I really don't I've been really stressed with school and stuff like that too so um, going forward only replays that you guys send me over a media fire Dropbox or YouTube itself so Saying that, my drift builds have been getting very, very well uh, feedback on those, so I do want to continue doing those. Um, I have another one set up for tomorrow, and I will be drifting the Nissan Skyline. So for you fellas that wanted the Skyline, it made, uh, I think, eight thumbs up this morning, so I figured I'd use that. Um, I have that ready to go, so you guys will be seeing my Forza Horizon build of the Nissan Skyline for tomorrow's episode of the drift builds. Now also too, um, thank you guys very much for all your feedback, the support, and honestly we're almost at 4,000 subscribers and this is a huge feat. I know I've been just plowing through, I've been plowing through the ranks of subscribers in the last few months and um, I mean you guys are the reason why I keep doing it. You guys watch, you guys comment, you guys interact with me and it's awesome to see the Forza community uh, just grow and really I want to make this a channel for Forza 5, when that game comes out, this channel is going to be huge. And I want to bring you guys everything that I can possibly can bring you for Forza 5. And um, I really would like, I, I mean, my main goal in general would be able to get, the, uh, like, turn 10 to actually see these videos going forward um, and seeing what the community really wants in Forza 5. I mean, there's so much stuff that I wish that I was a game developer. I mean, just... The amount of stuff that's in my head that I would love to just put down on a track, you know what I mean? Like I, so many games I combine, you know, like Grand Theft Auto, um, open world with the Forza 4 physics and Test Drive Unlimited map and just crazy amount of stuff. I mean, if I ever won the lottery, me Mafioso Wired, we always talk about this. Like if we ever won the like actually won the lottery, there. The games that would be coming out would be absolutely incredible. I mean, if we didn't have the technology, we would make it happen, you know? But, um, I mean, just there's a lot of stuff that I really wish that I would get to see in Forza 5. And um, if you guys have any um, things that you guys want to see in Forza 5, so, I mean, post your wish list at the bottom. And um, 
we're gonna maybe get this little uh, list going for Christmas time. You know, Santa Claus might be coming early. You never know. I doubt it though. But um, yeah, I mean, just some stuff off the top of my head. I mean, more smoke in terms of the drifting. Um, a lot more body design. So I mean, a lot more uh, like body swaps in terms of front bumpers and a lot more visual upgrades to the cars. Um, really, in like going into detail with the visual upgrades. I mean, headlights, uh, tail lights mirrors exhaust tips um the offset of the rims just everything just incredible like it and it can be done like i have i've seen games that have done it juice 2 is a prime example for this they did a lot of a lot of upgrades to their cars and um i'm gonna actually post some videos on juice 2 just to show you um the amount of customization that's really available. I mean, especially Midnight Club as well too. Midnight Club, another prime example of the games. Now, um, I might do a series just showcasing the different, or not series, but just videos showcasing the customization options of these two games because really, if you guys haven't played these games, the customizing is incredible. Really, like just in depth detail. I mean, even the rims, the tires, you can do like the dish of the rim, you can do the different tires itself, you can do white walls, you can do everything. And really I wish that they would just kind of just take a step back and really look to see what the fans of Forza really want in a game. I mean, to be honest with you, Forza Horizon has flopped. I'm going to officially say this, it has flopped in terms of the community's eyes. I still love the game, it's a great game, but in terms of the community's eyes, I think personally the game has flopped. and. Just the fact that it's not living up to everyone's expectations. There's no replay value. And the game could have been good. It really could have. Um, they were going well. They had the open world style. I honestly I honestly would be happy with the game if they did two things. Alright, it's not big things. It really isn't. One, make a timed race for free roam. So that way, A, we can get replay angles. I don't care if it's just the game angles. Just make it so you have replays. You can save them, you can send them, and you can take pictures inside of these replays. If you can do that one thing right there, you will have so many people coming back to Forza Horizon. I guarantee you. Replays are huge. There is no point of drifting and doing all these crazy stuffs in these online game modes if you don't have a capture card and you cannot save a replay and go back and look at it. There's no point. And a lot of people have really opened their eyes and said, why are we still on this game? I mean, this this game has been out and we're already bored of the damn thing. There's no, like, there's no, um, what am I looking for? There's no, like, variety to the game. I mean, you just go in there, you cruise, and that's about it. I mean, you have a few challenges here and there, but it's really not enough to keep a person that wants to do stuff in the game. I mean... Forza 4 is a game, as I said, I keep going back to it. I'm playing it almost every night. And the tuning is what brings me back. The tuning and just finding that perfect drift. I mean, that is really why anybody who's anybody that plays Forza 4 is still playing this game. The feeling, the just the just the atmosphere of the game and just just feeling the car's drift. I mean, it actually feels like you're really drifting the car. The car has like a soul. You know what I mean? Like Forza Horizon, the car is just car is static that's really all it is and I, I mean I don't want to bash the game because I'm not bashing the game at all I'm just saying that the game needs to change in order for them to bring out content and for people to actually enjoy the game more and really I mean I don't think it's too hard for them to do that I mean a few tweaks here and there to the game but I mean I mean as I said the replays are huge and if they did that one little thing I think it would change dramatically in terms of why uh, people would play the game and also too if it's possible as an update for tuning um, if that's even a I don't even know if that's even possible if I ever got into a game of developers I would ask them that right off the bat is if they're putting tuning in the game now I understand it's probably a lot of work to do but honestly it would be worth it if they had people working on that night and day maybe for a December expansion to go with the rally pack um, honestly I, it would bring a lot of people back to the game and including myself I'd be on that probably every night finding those perfect lines finding those perfect setups for each area of, of the map and it's just it's really disappointing that we waited all this time for Forza Horizon and it just was kind of like 
You know what I mean? Like, we have to wait another year. And it sucks. It really does. But, I mean, at the same time, the game has its advantages. It's a very, very fun game for King. Um, that's really the only time that I play that game anymore. I don't really cruise online. There's really no point in cruising online anymore for me. And King is really my only enjoyment of the game. And it sucks because I was so pumped up for this game. I really was. And um, we're just going to have to wait for Forza 5. But let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see for Forza 5. And um, maybe we'll get into detail more of that in a later video. But um, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Thank you very much, Edmar, for sending this in. He's going to be banking about 218,157 is the new record. Let me know what you guys think in the bottom. Thank you guys very much for watching. It's your boy, Slab Train. I'm out. Peace.